We are entering the classic section. So this is where it's gonna get exciting. No way, we've got a Roadmaster in here. The wood paneling, man, look at that. I never knew if this was real wood paneling or not. Is it? Does anyone know? No, it's vinyl. You can see it peeling off. <laughs> That's amazing. This thing's pretty straight though. Yo, another Z? With this cool wing too. Dealership badge? Something performance, I guess. Another old truck, manual. Oh, nothing left of the steering wheel. Just completely gone. That's crazy. No floors. These were gloves. Oh my gosh. It's just really crazy to think what time can do to metal, rubber, basically anything. Just deteriorates over time. Bondo roof. One of these old Datsun pickups. I've never seen one of these in person. Never seen one in the junkyard until now. Chevy Vega. It's pretty straight. Little two door. Manual. Oh, that's a cool looking car. Huh, side exit. All right, it's probably just broken. Okay, we don't get to see the interior, but there you go. The shift knob looks wooden. Oh, this looks cool. What is this? Tullahoma. Manual as well. Perforated headliner. It's pretty interesting. Converter information. Oh, it's a GM car. General Motors. Do your part for clean air. Wow, this is crazy. This is when catalytic converters first became a thing. Oh my gosh, and an owner's manual? Dude, that's sick. That's so cool. All the paperwork. Look at how tiny the glove box is. There's a plant growing in here. Vega. AutoZone receipt. Got some shocks for it. I think this is from the 70s, actually. Oh, another Vega. Red interior. Got the race wheels on. I don't even know what this was. Ooh, one of these old vans. Full of junk. Holy crap. Man, these are sick. Old pickups had just such unique body lines and roof lines. That's cool. Oh. The old Hudson Hornet. That's disgusting in here. Oh my gosh. Power by Ford. Oh, rusty valve covers. That's interesting. What is this thing? I don't know. Ooh, look at this. Man, these are cool cars. Wow, dude. The body line. It's just flat right here. That's just, oh. back in the day, they had a great choice of cars to buy. That's for sure. That's just, oh, that goes hard. If I saw this at a car show, like, look, look at this, man. Look at the trim on here. That is so sick. And that is metal. That's not even plastic. Bench seats like springs and stuff like a mattress even the back door is just beefy
That's just style right there, I swear. Four door boat wagon. Just tucking. Well, this one had a little racing wheel in it. There's a shoe on the back. How long has that been there? And I apologize for not knowing the names of any of these older cars. I don't really know American cars as much as I do imports, but I can still appreciate the bodywork, the body lines, the history behind them, and everything that goes into these. So, and honestly, I'm fascinated by them. Look at this car. Like, this is so unique. They do not make stuff like this anymore. What is this? Like, what? This is so cool. Small trunk, but that quarter, it's like, Elbow to finger. That is so sick. It looks like that back window rolls down. What? Where did this fall out? No, that rolls down. That's insane. No B pillar. It's like, what? That is so freaking cool. And I don't even know what this is, but it's so cool. Oh, this is not gonna close. <laughs> Dang it. I'm gonna get a picture of it. Guess we'll get it from the back. Gotta check this out. Oh, that's rusty. This is such a long two-door. The rear half of the car is debatably longer than the front half with the motor. Damn. Just so many of these older cars. Another one of these wagons too. Well, this one looks different than the other ones. Uh, I don't know what this is actually, but. All curved glass, that's cool. That's so cool. Back in the rear ends of these used to have like little fins sticking out on the quarters. That's sick. Oh, there's another one of these. This one has the trunk though. No B pillar. Pretty wild. Someone actually took the motor out of this one. Look at how simple these subframes were. This is just bent metal. <laughs> what is this one? Fiber. That's gross. Man, I just wonder how long these cars have been sitting here. And you know these cars have a story to them, so if they could talk, I'd love to hear it. This thing is cool, you know, pick up. This car has a bigger pickup bed than most modern pickup trucks. <laughs> this is a nice comparison. Look at this tailgate. And then look at the width of this one. All their stuff is just massive. What's this? It's a cool little car. This thing's pretty sick. If you guys know what these cars are, please let me know in the comments. And I will not be offended if you guys correct me or inform me. I love learning new information. So feel free to put a timestamp in what each car is so that I know. Because these things fascinate me and it's cool to learn the history behind cars in general, you know? This thing's pretty sick, man. The body lines, I just can't get enough of that. That's so cool. Okay, but how cool is it when these cars had these little fins at the end and there's a light on it? That, like, that is so cool to me. I don't know, that's just, it's got so much style in it. 
That looks sick. No B pillar on this too? Wow. Well, I guess there were no seat belts back then either. I'm surprised this one isn't rotted out more. This is actually in pretty good shape for its year. This is a two door. <laughs> it's like the size of a short bus. This one's also pretty straight and in good shape. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who did this? That just shows how strong this fender is. Wow. Oh, what do we got here? A little Cavalier? I've never seen a Cavalier this old. Huh, who's this guy? Manual. Is that a wolf? Kind of looks like it. I don't know what this car is. A Subaru Brat? What? I have to admit, I only knew what this car was because of the Hot Wheels. The Hot Wheels puts like two bucket seats in the back here. And I thought that was so cool. It also says Brat here actually, but yeah, this thing is so cool. What the heck? This old Subaru badge. That's pretty sick. Another Z. See, I know these. Manual tan interior. Holy crap. There's so many cracks. Dang, still has the straight six. What is it, 280Z? Dang. There's so many pickup trucks over here. And they're all so huge and long. Oh, what do we have here? What is this? I think I've actually seen one of these here. But I still don't know what it is. Oldsmobile something. Are the fenders part of the structure on these cars, or what? It's pretty wild. Is this a Mustang? An old 67? That's my guess. I don't actually know if this is a 67 or not, so correct me if I'm wrong. Auto. Pretty straight and honestly, well, I was gonna say not too rusty, but I'm seeing the floor on this side. Another one of these. Actually, I don't know if I've seen one of these. Flares in the back are so sick. Circle tails. Ooh, is this a Bronco? No rust. Another one. Another one. Oh yeah. Cherokee, an old school one. An old Thunderbird. What? Purple. That's interesting. Look at all these bees. Oh my gosh, all these wasps and bees and whatnot. I don't even want to open these doors, so I'm not going to. But it's red interior. Can't even tell what this is. Camaro? That's my guess, Camaro. Lots of pickup trucks over here. It's just a ton of them. All right, check out this John Deere livery. <laughs> wow. Blue interior. It's spacious in here. Rust free also. Got some paint flake, but you know what? 
Solid metal. Good stuff on there. Even these seats don't look bad. Oh, it's got little swirlies on it. That's pretty cool. Music alternative. Oh, this thing's cool. Looks rusty. Oh yeah, look at that. Nothing left of the bed. Plymouth. I had no idea. this thing huh. no roof drop top does it unbolt Jeep things oh my gosh doesn't this look absolutely massive in there that's ginormous. Hillbilly Deluxe. Floatech exhaust. It looks like people would hand paint the dashes on these. Oh, there's the front end right here. There's more over here. Jesus. So much treasure in this yard. Oh, another one of these. Pretty cool tails. Oh, this is cool. Love these. Ah. Nasty. Dodson. Nissan Z? That's interesting. I didn't know it'd say Z on the valve cover. Dodge. This is another Z? Oh, it's like a mossy pond. That's a Chevy based on the banner. But no Z. Man, this is a two plus two. Red interior. Oh, that's nice. Let's look at that. Okay, maybe not all the way nice, but that still looks really good for its age. Even with no T top on it. Oh, these are cool. Man, these are cool. It's not even plastic, it's like felt that folds out. CX. I really wonder what this was. Any guesses? Now watch your head. Anyone know what this is? Another oldie? Oh man, I really hope my foot does not sink into this. Is a, a bush growing in here? Okay. <laughs> Look at all that beer. Oh, I know. Cola. I thought that was beer. It says Cola Big K on it. Never heard of that. Some root beer, too. Porsche 944. It's either an extra wide body or extra damaged. Let's see. This whole car is tweaked and warped. Got smacked real good. Oh, look at the gap. Manual. Rest in peace. That's a cool find right there. It's no wonder they put this car all the way in the back, tucked away. I think this is probably one of my favorite finds here, honestly. What's your favorite car that I've found so far? Oh, 
there's more over here too. Oh, an old Mustang. And I don't know what that is. What year is this guy? So tiny. Here's the other side of that Mustang. Wow. This is old. School buses? Old school school buses. What is this doing? V8? Cadillac? I would love to go in there and explore, but I'm seeing the rust around the steps there and I just don't feel like busting my crap and falling into a puddle of mud. So we're gonna keep walking. Ambulance. Oh, look at this switch panel. Holy crap. That's so sick. Very nicely done too, wow. And they're shielded as well and labeled. I had no idea that much went into it. It's pretty cool. It's got like plumbing and stuff in here too. Cool stuff. Never got to see inside of that before. This is a cool bus. Oh man, it smells not good. Gonna just do one of these. Hmm. Okay. I think this is all stuff I've seen already. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this junkyard video. I hope it was as interesting for you guys as it was for me to explore it. Don't forget to subscribe to see more and I'll catch you guys next time.